Good evening and thank you for tuning in to TV 24 News. I'm John Garlick and here's the news for Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. On June 19th, 1865, Union General Gordon Granger announced the emancipation of enslaved African Americans in Galveston, Texas, two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed by President Lincoln. This marked the beginning of freedom for many and started annual celebrations known as Juneteenth. Juneteenth is now a federal holiday recognized for its historical significance and celebration of African American culture and heritage. It's a day for reflection, education, and community events nationwide. The Anniston Heritage Festival, City of Anniston's annual celebration of Juneteenth, looks to be a great time as this year's concert will be headlined by Billboard Top 10 R&B artist Life Jennings. Life is a soul singer, songwriter, record producer, and instrumentalist who has been heralded by the New York Times as a socially minded R&B singer. The 2024 Heritage Festival will take place at Zinn Park, that's 101 West 14th Street in Anniston, on Saturday, June 22nd from 2 p.m. until 10 p.m. This event is free to attend, so be on the lookout for future announcements on featured artists and other exciting news as we draw closer to the concert date. This is a family-oriented event designed to provide a safe and fun-filled day for citizens of all ages and cultures. There will be entertainment, games for youth, food, vendor, arts and crafts, as well as ample security throughout the day. In previous year's events, more than 5,000 patrons have been in attendance. For event information or questions, please contact the City of Anniston Parks and Recreation Department at sstringer at anistonal.gov or call 256-241-7164, extension 236. You're watching the TV24 News presented by Team One Chevrolet of Gadsden. We'll be right back. Some say college isn't for single parents or people who work full time. I'm here to prove them wrong. I'm a first-generation American, the father of Dion, and a non-traditional student at Gadsden State Community College. As a sergeant in the Army National Guard, I've watched soldiers with degrees progress faster in their careers. So today, I'm in school, involved in the Veterans Upper Bound program, and excited to see what's in store for my career. I truly am earning my wings at Gadsden State. Hello, I'm Taylor Sloan with the City of Oxford, with a word about one of our city's most precious resources, water. Clean water enriches our lives in so many ways, but we cannot afford to take it for granted. Remember, every time you pour something unnatural down the drain or in the environment, and every time you litter, our beautiful lakes and creeks suffer. Our city is beautiful. Let's all join together to keep it that way. Stop pollution where it starts and help protect our waters for life. The weather is warming up and spring is just around the corner at Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. I'm Craig Miller and we've got something for everyone. From bulk materials like sand, gravel and mulch to beautiful outdoor decor to make your outdoor living space the envy of the neighborhood. See our beautiful selection of mozzarella fountains, flowers to brighten your garden and an outdoor center loaded with beautiful decor. Whether you need a little or a lot, visit Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. At Bentley Prosthetic and Medical Supply, we care about you. We offer custom prosthetics, orthotics, diabetic shoes, and durable medical supplies. We're located here in Alexandria, Alabama, where it's a country feel but professional care. Come see us today. You may not believe it, but it's true. The 2024 Team One Chevys are here. All 2324 Silverado Light Dudes have 2.9% financing for 72 months. The hottest new 24 Team One Chevy Blazer, 1.9% financing and no payments till April. And the number one selling family vehicle, the Equinox. 24 models, you got it. 1.9% financing and no payments till April. Team One Chevrolet, home of the best people, the best service, period. Come out and check out the Alabama Tractor Difference. We can take care of all your needs of parts, sales, and service for RTVs, zero turns, and tractors and construction equipment. See us here in Lincoln at 620 Speedway Industrial Drive. Or come visit us here in Asheville at 275 6th Avenue or give us a call at 205-594-7000.
Tonight, we have a special feature on the history and celebration of Juneteenth. In 2022, our very own Dottie Ramsey sat down with Dr. Ruby Evans to discuss what it took to establish the Juneteenth celebration in Anniston and delve into the history of the, uh, behind this significant event. In this interview, Dr. Evans shares insightful stories and historical context about the journey and efforts that brought Juneteenth celebration to life in Anniston. It's an enlightening conversation, the highlights of the importance of this day in American history. The Juneteenth Celebration Heritage Festival here to Anniston, talk to me about what it took to get that whole celebration going here in Anniston. Okay, first I would like to say that uh, at the time we had a mayor, Bill Robinson, mm -hmm. and uh, loving him because he was 100% cooperative with me. I took my matters to the city council mm -hmm. and he heard the whole story about mm -hmm. uh, General Gordon Granger leaving and going over to Galveston, te Texas mm -hmm. to tell the people and uh, that they were free. That they were all free. Because yeah, it wasn't like you know we <clears> had <throat> cell phones. You can go, girl, mm -hmm. look it up, girl. Let me no. Google it to you. Let me call you. Right. Nothing. So, At, if, so if you're, so if the if the slave master didn't come out and say, hey, you're free, they you, didn't know. You it. just didn't know. They didn't know it. And mm -hmm. then they didn't worry about the Pony Express back then. You remember? Yeah. The, yeah. Well, they had yeah. the Pony Express. I read about it. Well, they did not. Yes, they did not go and tell those people. Uh, matter of fact, like I said before, the slave owners did not want them to know because he wanted them to continue to work. Oh yeah. And uh, so as it turned out for me to announce it to the Anderson City Council, he allowed me to use Zen Park as a beginning uh, area to have it. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me it was bringing out, uh, being an educator, I wanted everybody to know what it was about. Mm -hmm. So for me to tell that it meant freeing of the slaves. These people came over on a ship. These people did not have, but they learned how to survive. They learned how to survive. And many of them, of course, were killed. They were lynched. They were chased off. They had parts of their bodies cut. Uh, matter of fact, one guy that decided to run off from Shelby County Mm -hmm. uh, the slave owner caught him up in Hunt, they caught him up in Huntsville air area, mm -hmm. and uh, they tried to cut his foot off. But mm -hmm. one of the brothers told him, "No, don't do this. Let him let him mm -hmm. survive." So yeah. yeah, let him live. But in the process, like I said, in starting Juneteenth in Anniston, I wanted everybody to be uh, educated as to the meaning of it. I wanted them to participate. We had entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. We had people who loved to cook. They came out in the park. Yeah, I was going to say, what type yeah. of, what, what was going on? Because I remember yes. um, when I moved back to Anderson in 1996, yes. it was still going on. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They had a lovely time. Uh, my first uh, concern was about the children. I mm -hmm. wanted them to know what it was about. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ali Shabazz worked okay. with me. Yes. Jean Williams worked. Right. faithfully, mm -hmm. Joetta Bush, and there were so many people who came in, but they would leave perhaps the following year. Okay. And um, I would like to tell you this that was so uh, fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. Years later in 1992, we had the mayor, his name was David Dethridge. Okay. He came out to the park and he looked at my program because I would always invite the mayor to do the greeting every morning to everybody, welcome to Juneteenth Festival. Right. So he came out to the park. He said, uh, Ruby, he says, you have on this program uh, amphitheater. He said, where is amphitheater? <laughs> I said, um, well, it's not really here. I want my students to understand what an amphitheater is. So I always place it on the program. I say, but watch what happens when we say amphitheater. All of the children ran over to the basketball goal. They ran over to that area. He says, so what are they supposed to do? I said, they're gonna sit on the grass and those who are performing, which was the drill team. Okay. Yeah, we didn't have any provocative dancing or whatever. Right, we right. just had the drill, drill team with mm -hmm. coordination, mm -hmm. knowing to be able to listen, to hear. Who ever thought mm -hmm. that he 
made fun of my my amphitheater. You're, you're, so, 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 you had a, so you had a makeshift. <laughs> yes, I had a makeshift. And make so shift. you're saying that because of that, he decided that he you came, really needed to make one. Oh, listen, he came, he said, uh, I guarantee you, this time next year, you won't go through this. And I said, what are you saying? He said, I'm going to fix it where it's comfortable for not only you, but everybody here. So, so he built the pavilion that we now have that today. we now have today in, in the park Anderson. and it's called the Martin Luther King Pavilion. Wonderful. Yes. What, what, a, what a wonderful story. Right. I, I, well, I can remember what the park looked like before that, but oh, I never knew yes. that yes. because of your makeshift yes. amphitheater that yes. he wanted to make sure that you had a real one. Right. right. He, he, yeah. he did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. And like I told the people that were in the audience last year, I said, now, he was not a selfish person. He could have named that pavilion after himself, yes. but he didn't. He said the Martin Luther King Pavilion. What a wonderful story. Time for today's uh, Community Spotlight with Chef Dave and Susan Shipman. Hey, Susan Shipman and Chef Dave Sloan from Oven Odyssey with you, talking about our upcoming holiday. The Independence Day celebration is a big deal for us as Americans and we like to be out in the yard and cranking up the grill and coming up with some tasty foods for our family and friends to eat. But if you don't have that skill or you don't have the desire to do that, you need to make our phone ring because we can do that for you. Roast you up a butt, fix you some baked beans, potato salad, deviled eggs, coleslaw, whatever it is that you like with your um, holiday fare. So, we're the people to call 938-899-4222 and we will do that for you. Absolutely. And we'll be sampling a lot of that this Saturday and next Saturday at the Jacksonville Farmers Market. We've got some fresh produce, incredible baked goods. We've got gluten-free items that you'd never know were gluten-free. Mm -hmm. Fantastic dog treats and we're going to be uh, we're smoking a butt for this weekend, so we'll have some uh, pork butt and uh, barbecue sauce to sample. You can get your orders in for the holidays ahead of time and we can take everything off your plate and do it for you. Yes, put it on your plate by us. We will have um, at the market on Saturday, our tomatoes are coming ripe, so we should have some ripe tomatoes here on out. Uh, the green beans are going crazy, so that's going to be a big producer as well. And we look forward to seeing you at the Jacksonville Farmers Market 7 until noon at 911 Public Safety Drive Southwest in Jacksonville. We love what we do. We hope it reflects in the foods that we produce for you, and we thank you. And there are a lot of fantastic vendors out there, so it's not just us. Indeed. There's some uh, wonderful vendors with some incredible products. Come out and see it. It's a great way to spend your Saturday morning, and uh, we, we, we really love to see you there. Coming up, your area weather and sports right here on TV24 News, presented by Team One, Chevrolet of Gadsden. Some say college isn't for single parents or people who work full time. I'm here to prove them wrong. I'm a first generation American, the father of Dion, and a non-traditional student at Gadsden State Community College. As a sergeant in the Army National Guard, I've watched soldiers with degrees progress faster in their careers. So today, I'm in school, involved in the Veterans Upper Bound program, and excited to see what's in store for my career. I truly am earning my wings at Gadsden State. Hello, I'm Taylor Sloan with the City of Oxford with a word about one of our city's most precious resources, water. Clean water enriches our lives in so many ways, but we cannot afford to take it for granted. Remember, every time you pour something unnatural down the drain or in the environment, and every time you litter, our beautiful lakes and creeks suffer. Our city is beautiful. Let's all join together to keep it that way. Stop pollution where it starts and help protect our waters for life. The weather is warming up and spring is just around the corner at Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. I'm Craig Miller and we've got something for everyone. From bulk materials like sand, gravel and mulch to beautiful outdoor decor to make your outdoor living space the envy of the neighborhood. See our beautiful selection of mozzarella fountains, flowers to brighten your garden and an outdoor center loaded with beautiful decor. Whether you need a little or a lot, visit Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. At Bentley Prosthetic and Medical Supply, we care about you. We offer 
custom prosthetics, orthotics, diabetic shoes, and durable medical supplies. We're located here in Alexandria, Alabama, where it's a country feel but professional care. Come see us today. You may not believe it, but it's true. The 2024 Team 1 Chevys are here. All 2324 Silverado light dudes have 2.9% financing for 72 months. The hottest new 24 Team 1 Chevy Blazer, 1.9% financing and no payments till April. And the number one selling family vehicle, the Equinox. 24 models, you got it. 1.9% financing and no payments till April. Team 1 Chevrolet, home of the best people, the best service, period. Come out and check out the Alabama Tractor Difference. We can take care of all your needs of parts, sales, and service for RTVs, zero turns, and tractors and construction equipment. See us here in Lincoln at 620 Speedway Industrial Drive. Or come visit us here in Asheville at 275 6th Avenue, or give us a call at 205-594-7000. Two raging wildfires near a beloved New Mexico resort town and a historic Native American reservation have claimed at least one life and reduced over 1,400 structures to ashes. The urgency to evacuate thousands of residents turned Tuesday into a day of chaos and heartache. In a desperate bid to protect her people, Governor Michelle Lugin Grisham declared a state of emergency for Lincoln County and the Mescalero Apache Reservation, deploying additional National Guard members to the Inferno's front lines. Michael Coleman, spokesperson for Lugin Grisham, shared the sad news of one fatality, though further details remain scarce. The South Fork Fire and Salt Fire are just two of the 23 large-scale blazes tormenting the western U.S., choking the air with smoke as a brutal heat wave and relentless winds fan the flames. California, in particular, is besieged battling 10 massive fires. According to state and national officials, the post-fire alone has scorched nearly 15 1,700 acres across Los Angeles and Ventura counties, with only 31% containment as of Tuesday evening. The West is burning, and its people are gripped with fear and uncertainty. Tropical storm Alberto threatens Texas and Mexico with heavy rains and flooding. Danger lurks in the Gulf of Mexico as tropical storm Alberto gains strength. This storm isn't your average visitor. It's packing a heavy punch with the potential for devastating consequences. Widespread flooding. Alberto is a rainmaker threatening to unleash heavy downpours across Central America, Northern Mexico, and South Texas. Some say college isn't for single parents or people who work full time. I'm here to prove them wrong. I'm a first generation American, the father of Dion, and a non traditional student at Gadsden State Community College. As a sergeant in the Army National Guard, I've watched soldiers with degrees progress faster in their careers. So today, I'm in school, involved in the Veterans Up and Bound program, and excited to see what's in store for my career. I truly am earning my wings at Gadsden State. Hello, I'm Taylor Sloan with the City of Oxford, with a word about one of our city's most precious resources, water. Clean water enriches our lives in so many ways, but we cannot afford to take it for granted. Remember, every time you pour something unnatural down the drain or in the environment, and every time you litter, our beautiful lakes and creeks suffer. Our city is beautiful. Let's all join together to keep it that way. Stop pollution where it starts and help protect our waters for life. The weather is warming up and spring is just around the corner at Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. I'm Craig Miller and we've got something for everyone. From bulk materials like sand, gravel and mulch to beautiful outdoor decor to make your outdoor living space the envy of the neighborhood. See our beautiful selection of mozzarella fountains, flowers to brighten your garden and an outdoor center loaded with beautiful decor. Whether you need a little or a lot, visit Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. At Bentley Prosthetic and Medical Supply, we care about you. We offer 
custom prosthetics, orthotics, diabetic shoes, and durable medical supplies. We're located here in Alexandria, Alabama, where it's a country feel but professional care. Come see us today. You may not believe it, but it's true. The 2024 Team 1 Chevys are here. All 2324 Silverado light duties have 2.9% financing for 72 months. The hottest new 24 Team 1 Chevy Blazer, 1.9% financing and no payments till April. And the number one selling family vehicle, the Equinox, 24 models. You got it, 1.9% financing and no payments till April. Team 1 Chevrolet, home of the best people, the best service, period. Come out and check out the Alabama Tractor Difference. We can take care of all your needs of parts, sales, and service for RTVs, zero turns, and tractors and construction equipment. See us here in Lincoln at 620 Speedway Industrial Drive. Or come visit us here in Asheville at 275 6th Avenue or give us a call at 205-594-7000. Hello everyone, this is Roger with WEAC TV 24 for this Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. True legend passed away yesterday, Willie Mays, uh, the one that most say was the greatest center fielder ever to play the game of baseball. Uh, how fitting is it that he passed away around the same time the MLB has the big game Thursday night at Rickwood Field uh, honoring the Negro League. And Willie, of course, was uh, invited to be there, but he had left a statement a couple of days ago saying that he appreciated the invite by MLB and, you know, Neg Negro League baseball was one of the greatest things ever for him, but he was just sorry that he was not going to be able to attend because he just doesn't get around as good as he used to. So, uh, anyway, so Willie... Just a great, great, great baseball player. Probably one of the top five of all times. Uh, always known for making the great over shoulder of the catch uh, that we've all seen so, my, so many times. Willie was an Alabama native, born and raised in Fairfield, Alabama. Uh, you know, MLB honoring the Negro Leagues Thursday night. That'll be nationally televised on Fox 6. Uh, did all kind of rework to the stadium, got Rick Wood looking just like it always used to look. And I know that they were hoping that Willie Mays would be a big part of that, but he still will be will be a big part of that. Uh, you know, just an amazing career, Thirty over 3,200 hits, 2,062 runs, 1,900 RBIs, 660 home runs, 12-time Gold Glove winner, 24 times an All-Star, only player in MLB history to bat 300, steal 300 bases, hit 300 home runs, and have 3,000 hits. Uh, rest in peace, say hey, kid. You were a great one, Willie. We're going to miss you. Uh, some local sports, the Chocolaca Monsters improved to 6-2 and two on the young season. Uh, they beat the Gainesville Gold Diggers uh, in a 7 to nothing shutout recently. Trey Higgins, Hayes Harrison, Oxford grads, both hom both homered. Uh, they will play at Gainesville this evening. We'll keep you posted on the Monsters all summer. Uh, some uh, MLB draft news. Carter Johnson, the great baseball player that just graduated from Oxford High School, I've mentioned him several times about his major league uh, stock. Uh, read this morning that MLB.com had named him to one of 10 prospects to watch at the MLB draft combine that's taking place in Phoenix. Uh, we'll be keeping you up to date when the draft comes about and let you know how that goes. He he's, he's looks like... They're forecasting probably to go somewhere maybe in the late first round or even possibly the second round. He's already committed to the University of Alabama to play baseball, but uh, we'll you know wait and see how the draft goes. And if he gets drafted in that first or early second round, that's some pretty good bonus money. So uh, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. Uh, also, the other day, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes had their second annual, annual home run derby. It was at Chocolaca Park. Uh, all current or past seniors were allowed to enter, 
Alexandria's rising senior Bray Good came out on top. His teammate Samuel Henniger finished runner-up. So the wars just kind of keep piling up for the Alexander Valley Cubs baseball team. The College World Series in Omaha. Uh, Florida State eliminated North Carolina. Grabbed an early lead in a victory over the ACC regular champs and one of the nation's best teams. They will face Tennessee today. Kentucky and Florida will match up today, this morning, after a game was postponed last night. Texas A&M will await the winner and get that going tonight. Also, last but not least, the Atlanta Braves beat the Detroit Tigers 2-1. to one. They'll look to sweep the series today at Truist Park. Uh, Ronaldo Lopez on the mound for the Braves. That's going to do it for sports today. Everyone stay safe and see you next time. Thank you for watching TV24 News presented by Team One Chevrolet of Gadsden. Signing off from our studios in Oxford, Alabama. Have a great evening. Some say college isn't for single parents or people who work full time. I'm here to prove them wrong. I'm a first generation American, the father of Dion, and a non-traditional student at Gadsden State Community College. As a sergeant in the Army National Guard, I've watched soldiers with degrees progress faster in their careers. So today, I'm in school, involved in the Veterans Upper Bound program, and excited to see what's in store for my career. I truly am earning my wings at Gadsden State. Hello, I'm Taylor Sloan with the City of Oxford with a word about one of our city's most precious resources, water. Clean water enriches our lives in so many ways, but we cannot afford to take it for granted. Remember, every time you pour something unnatural down the drain or in the environment, and every time you litter, our beautiful lakes and creeks suffer. Our city is beautiful. Let's all join together to keep it that way. Stop pollution where it starts and help protect our waters for life. The weather is warming up and spring is just around the corner at Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. I'm Craig Miller and we've got something for everyone. From bulk materials like sand, gravel and mulch to beautiful outdoor decor to make your outdoor living space the envy of the neighborhood. See our beautiful selection of mozzarella fountains, flowers to brighten your garden and an outdoor center loaded with beautiful decor. Whether you need a little or a lot, visit Miller Sand and Landscape Supply. At Bentley Prosthetic and Medical Supply, we care about you. We offer custom prosthetics, orthotics, diabetic shoes, and durable medical supplies. We're located here in Alexandria, Alabama, where it's a country feel but professional care. Come see us today. You may not believe it, but it's true. The 2024 Team One Chevys are here. All 2324 Silverado light duties have 2.9% financing for 72 months. The hottest new 24 Team One Chevy Blazer, 1.9% financing and no payments till April. And the number one selling family vehicle, the Equinox. 24 models, you got it. 1.9% financing and no payments till April. Team One Chevrolet, home of the best people, the best service, period. Come out and check out the Alabama Tractor Difference. We can take care of all your needs of parts, sales, and service for RTVs, zero turns, and tractors and construction equipment. See us here in Lincoln at 620 Speedway Industrial Drive. Or come visit us here in Asheville at 275 6th Avenue or give us a call at 205-594-7000. Hey everybody, I'm Larry May. I've been in the entertainment business for over 25 years. I've written uh, for the local paper. I've interviewed a lot of touring artists and local artists here. And uh, what I figured out is how much talent we have here in Alabama. That's why we put a new show together for you called Entertainment Alabama. Come watch us for the hottest new acts and some of your favorites that are our national touring artists.